Hello and welcome back to the next episode of Aurora Effect C Sharp as the Empire of Space Japan. The year is 33 on the 16th of October. We are running a deficit and we are currently still in conflict with the raiders who probe our systems. Arrakis is once more under threat and the destroyer squadron, the second destroyer squadron under the command of Commander Iwakura Tsukuni uh, is preparing to defend the colony. Furthermore, on Arrakis, we also have access to three surface-to-orbit battalions, totaling 45 guns of 20cm caliber rail, and we will be using those for defense if needed as well. The most concerning fact is that we saw this fleet over here, which indicates potentially a larger uh, assault force. The Mount Baker-class vessels we know of as the larger 15,000-ton uh, vessels, which require a lot more ordnance, but I believe another destroyer squadron. Now, in the last few episodes, a lot of people are commenting about the situation with our economy. And uh, yes, our economy, economic situation is not going great because we are massively uh, expanding our capacities or massively expanding uh, a lot of different things to, to keep up. And this is costing us a lot of resources. So I made the decision that we need to begin scrapping certain vessels. What I mean by that, we need to begin scrapping older fighters. We need to begin scrapping older carriers and we need to be getting rid of them. We currently have two Akagis sitting in uh, reserve, and we don't have the, we're not going to have the maintenance capacity to be able to maintain those properly. So I'm going to begin scrapping those Akagi class carriers, and then I'm going to also begin looking at scrapping older fighters. Uh, these include things like the uh, ODPs, these include things like the O1s, the older fighters that we don't really need. Uh, because scrapping is kind of hard to do with uh, these, I'm going to detach them and I'm just going to delete all the Nagatos. And then we're going to begin scrapping of the larger vessels. This will hamper our production rate for the short term, but we need it. This will also get us back a lot of resources and hangar decks and other things that we can use to then rebuild new carriers at a discounted rate. In terms of producing other vessels, I am going to begin construction of uh, a new uh, destroyer. Uh, we're going to get that into the destroyer reserve. I also want to begin construction on two new cruisers because we're going to need them. So the Phobos and the Umbriel. Our economic situation is... Pro we need to sort the mining this, this stuff out. This, we're going to just tax. This over here, we're going to tax. If it's not Galasite, I'm not buying it. Not high enough amounts. We're just going to tax these incomes. We, we are mining these resources, which is fine by me. Now... We do have access to Europa. Europa has a large amount of capacity. However, infrastructure is causing a large issue with that, and it's only going to get more expensive. So I've made the decision that we're going to get rid of the social stations. We're going to get rid of the older mines. I'm going to dedicate 70% of our construction capacity on doing one thing and one thing only, and that is going to be production of automated mines. We're going to choose as many automated mines as possible because those can be easily shipped and moved over. Also, if we have a look at Callisto, uh, we should have 30 mines on there. I probably want to get those moved over to Europa where possible. Um, of course, that will take some time. Uh, but getting these mines, shipping them over uh, will help um, in comparison to the infrastructure. Because we don't know we don't need the infrastructure. We also want to consider terraforming. We do have some labs available. So I'm going to begin research into terraforming modules and get those on the way. But let's defend our colony. Uh, we've got the enemy forces heading away now uh, we're going to see how far they decide to head away he's heading yeah, quite a bit further away than i expected the problem is going to be that they are going to keep doing this and then there's the increment will move around and that will cause some problems of course um but we should be able to just keep uh keep where we are for now just three day increments three hour increments Bunch of awarded vessels, my cash companies training. And uh, yes, another thing in this episode that we want to be doing is liberation. Uh, we currently have a, our tank division on this moon. Uh, we have a total of 213,000 forces. Uh, we still need to reinforce some of these formations. Um, they're not fully up to where they need to be in terms of logistics vehicles, in terms of other formations. So I'm going to look into my current stocks. Um, we're going to... Uh, show elements, and we're going to start moving over some infantry and maybe some tanks. Uh, so let's go for... Yeah, we don't really have any heavy mechanized companies available right now. Uh, but I'm going to ship over um, some basic 
uh, forces that we'll need. Yeah, I think what we're we missing, we're missing 2,000, we're missing about 10,000 tons, so this should be fine either way. We're going to go to our war stock, we're also going to bring in, I don't know, uh, a mountain pop up. Let's. Uh, Let's do 150. Let's do 75 logistics vehicles. And we're going to name them as the resupply one. And uh, get those moved over immediately. So if we go over to our naval mobility squadrons. You're orbiting here right now. Um, we're currently waiting on the cuttlefish to get back, of course. But we have naval mobility group three who are currently at Earth. And they have capacity to move the formations around as needed. Um, so if we go over to resupply one, load up, take that over to Zitomir, take that over to, uh, not Zitomir, take that over to Alpha, uh, move to location, and that should then allow us to unload all the ground forces, that will take obviously a bit of time. We're also going to need to move a larger carrier group over, if we go to Alpha, um, some carrier, yeah, we have carrier strike group one, which is on the way to Zitomir right now, but, uh, we'll, we'll need more forces in the AO, uh, to protect um protect ourselves uh also maintenance suppliers are doing okay actually now so we're going to halt that production i know we also have a supply ship we're going to try and reduce the amount of costs as, as much as we can uh so i'm going to transfer maintenance supplies to the colony and we're going to try and build up um, as much stuff as, as possible here uh, because obviously costs are really what's doing us in uh, we are producing a lot of uh aim 8 bs uh, which are very very important I believe we already have those ready to go. No, we don't. We need to replace our older Rashis. So get these newer Rashis in. Um, because otherwise they won't recognize correctly the right missiles. And these are the newer, more advanced. Uh, they go about 10,000 kilometers per second faster, uh, which is a significant um, improvement. And uh, we'll get rid of those. We'll put the new ones on. Um, same over here. We'll get rid of those and we'll put the new ones on. And then if I go over to Gallon Missile Forget, we also need to get rid of these ones and then put in these. Speaking of the Gallon Missile Forget, we should be able to, yes, we can begin retooling for the Chitose class vessel, which is what we need. However, oh yes, we're waiting on the engine, which is a bit far away right now. Uh, let's head back into Zitomir, which is where the enemy is located. So we're just going to do three hour increments. Okay, they're heading towards us. Heading back. So far, they're going to continue to do this, which is really annoying. Uh, the choice question two, can you head directly towards them? See what you can manage to accomplish. Maybe they will head uh, head closer to us. And begin moving towards. See what their actions are when we do that. Okay, they are within 27 million kilometer range there. Uh, however, they're going a bit too fast for LTRM's capability, which is a bit of a problem. Okay, we're going to hold it there, and we're going to see what they decide to do. Okay, so far, they've uh, they've decided not to get uh, any closer. Okay, that's pretty damn close, though. What's the distance from... That is... What distance are we talking about? Can we fire our Ashes within that time period? It's about 1 million kilometers. I think we can. I'm pretty sure we'd be able to reach that. We're going to try. I'm going to fire off eight missiles and see what they can do. Uh, we'll have the Prospero do it because Prospero has access to a lot more missile capability. And also, I have less to worry about. Um, so, I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, and we're back. Missiles are ready. We're going to point them at the target. They are now pointed. We're going to open fire, fire control. Fleet sync fire on. Missiles away. And let's see how they do. Will we be able... Okay, we should probably be chasing because that will give us a longer period of time to reach the target. Contact, follow. <sighs> just got out of range. We just lost this 30 missiles. We need them to get closer before we can open fire properly. Hold your position. Wait for them to get closer. Again, playing this cat and mouse game because we don't have fighters available to us. Uh, to do anything else. So we're going to do uh, see what they decide to uh, accomplish here. Okay, yeah, they move backwards. This is, this is what I really hate about this game. When it, it, this kind of stuff happens, it's just, it's just it's like magic warping. Um, 
I mean, they'll have to come into us now or go into the service door weapons. And I mean, I'm going to turn those service door weapons on, make sure they're ready to go. Uh, service door weapons, actives on, actives on, actives on. If they want to go after the planet, okay, they've uh, they've decided that they're coming right towards us. Okay, very well. Uh, open up. Uh, it should take about 16 missiles to destroy the enemy ship, um, based on my knowledge. Uh, so that's what we will use. Uh, Prospero, you can do the honors. Uh, so I'm going to take out the old, these uh, single-use launchers. Take them over here. We're going to assign the target. Um, well, no, we need to move some stuff down more importantly move that down move that down and then the ceasefire fire control move the vls over and then we're going to target enemy ship and we're going to then order for fire controls to open up fire here we go missiles away 15 nuclear detonations target is now uh at same speed it managed to survive those hits uh, very well uh, we can use the also LCRMs on them, actually, which uh, I, I'm a bit inclined to do. Um, yeah, I am a bit inclined to use those LCRMs um, because that's less total. I mean, it's still a lot of missiles, but it's less total. Sign all. Let's take away... Let's just find another 16 at them. So that's four LCRM missiles firing total. Okay, assign target. Assign target, open fire fire control. And missiles should be away here. Boom. Enemy ship, penetrating kits, of course. Looks like the ship's been disabled. We're going to pull in towards the target and then open up with our primary guns. Finish it off. Follow within 45,000 kilometers. And as soon as we are within range, this is our fleet, but as soon as we're within range, um, open fire firing control, assign fleet, and then the exact same thing over here, but this has three of these, so fire target, open fire firing control, assign fleet, and then over here, uh, do the exact same thing, uh, but for the flint, open fire fire control, fire when ready. Uh, and we're going to turn sync fire off for this, just open fire as soon as you can. So fleet sync fire off. And ship destroyed. There we go. We opened up and looks like Commander Shimagmura Kiyohidi uh, was awarded the Ace Medal. Uh, and uh, good job for them. Let's go back to port now and cease fire. That's enemy ship destroyed after a little bit of a weird engagement uh, from, from our side at least. Um... So yeah, head back and refuel resupply from the colony. And then we are going to continue to increment along here. Uh, one day increments. Alright. Yeah, so we're currently we're trying to get as many supplies over as possible. Uh, Cuttlefish has joined that squadron. So we're just awaiting those resupply forces to arrive. Carry Strike Group 1 has also arrived now. Um, let's get Carry Strike Group 1 out of here. Uh, have you head back to Sol move command when we can. Um, actually, no, go to Alpha and go to Kareem. That will take you... I'll take you 9 billion kilometers, which you can't really do. So we're going to have to keep you... We're going to have to keep you here in Arrakis for now. Uh, until uh, we can get a, a, the replenishment squadron moved over. I didn't move the replenishment squadron over as I should have. Um... So I'm going to refuel, resupply, and uh, we're going to then move the ordnance over. <sighs> so let me go over to Zizomir. Uh, yep. And then you're going to go over to Fleet. You're going to go to Carry Strike Group and then resupply that fleet. Let me go over to what is happening in Alpha. The mobility squadron is nearly there, which is good news. We've unloaded, and now what we're going to do is we're going to do some replacements. So use for replacements. And that should just take eight hours, and then we should have all... Yeah, there we go. Replaced. All good. Use for replacements. Regimental HQ. Maybe we have to... We probably have to wait five days for this, because uh, it's out of combat. So I will just do five day increment. 
There we go. That should have finished up their replacements now. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so let me have a look at the tank division. 220,000 tons now. We have 90,000 uh, tons of infantry, so 15, 1,500 infantrymen. Um, now, nominally speaking, each of these battalions should have 12, 150, 150. That's full, that's full, that's full. That's a completely fresh infantry regiment now. Uh, you're good, you're good, you're good. You are not, you have not enough mechanized. We need more mechanized uh, support. But largely speaking, we are good, though. We do need some additional infantry, but we, we are pretty much good to go. Uh, 220,000 tons of ground forces. I'm going to order uh, the Mobility Squadron 1, which is currently sitting above the planet. I'm going to have them load up all ground units, so it's all load or sub, and then take them over to Kareem and unload those ground forces. With Naval Mobility Squadron 2, which is also orbiting the moon, we're going to have you head back to Sol and move to location. Uh, and uh, yes, we're going to begin the invasion process now. Oh, that's bad. Okay, Nero vs. Question 3 should have fighters available for it. This could get very bad very quickly. Uh, I need a carrier strike group uh, dispatched immediately to make sure that we have security. Uh, carrier strike group 2 is available. Uh, Megami is in the fleet. We are good to go. We fuel from, uh, from there. And then head over to Alpha. Head to Kareem as soon as you possibly can, please. Okay. Enemy ship contact detected in the Naval Mobility Squadron 2. Now, Naval Mobility Squadron 2 should have access to um, a defensive force. Yes, the JNS Kent is there. This is why we provide escorts. JNS Kent launched Superiority Squadron 5 into uh, preparation. Follow enemy contact. Weapons are free and available. Uh... Yeah, move towards contact at full speed. Turn on active sensors on for this squadron. Active sensors on. Squadron is on the way. We have lost contact. We're going to continue on course. We need to destroy that enemy ship as quickly as we can. Enemy ship once more detected. We're continuing on course. Enemy ship has been picked up by AN1 uh, AN1 Spy 1 radar. Okay, we are going to follow contact in, and we are going to destroy enemy contact with all fire available. They should not have any access to uh, small-range munitions, so they should be an acceptable engagement parameter. Move in. Here we go. Squadron is moving in. Let's uh, just bring it back up. And open fire target. We have received fire. We're moving in. F2 lost. We have started to open fire. We got penetrating kits now. New target speed. And we lost another F2. Enemy ship destroyed. Three F2s. Uh, looks like two F2s were destroyed. And we managed to destroy a 7,500 ton ship. Good job to the squadron. Let's have you head back to your uh, group. Uh, so that would be Naval, Naval Mobility Group 2. Uh, land on your side mothership. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, we provide escorts to our uh, vessels. Because if you don't have escorts, then that ship would have destroyed the entire two transport, and that would have been a very, very bad situation. I am going to scramble the carrier strike group to go over here and to, to help out. Um, of course, that's going to take some time, and that's not going to be something that is, how do we say, uh, quick or easy to accomplish. But we are going to continue to begin the invasion here. Uh, new ship detected in Talos. Uh, new ship is going Talos. Now, Talos still has Invictus Colony. Yes, it does. Uh, we do have planetary defense weapons on Invictus, but only one regiment. Um, so they are unlikely to be able to make a significant difference. Um, but they will obviously do their best. Let's zoom in on the planet. So we have enemy ships 1 million kilometers out. They're heading directly towards. Uh, we are going to hold fire. Now, we're going to try. Yeah, we're going to see if we can hold fire. Uh, do, yeah, do not fire, um, Invictus Colony, do not fire, okay, do not fire yet, so we have a range, what's our ranging looking like, 80,000 kilometers per second, so if we manage to shoot just as they get in here, we should be able to hit them up pretty damn hard, because they can't see us yet, oh, they can see us, okay, we need to return fire immediately then, uh, so STO targeting, Target larger, uh, target 
the ra most random ship, uh, target random ship, fire when ready, fire weapons off. We have to take to lose. We fired 45. We got penetrating kits. That is on the Great Seekin. It's dropped its speed right out. Okay, we're going to change target. So the Nitro, that's a larger vessel. We need to target that ship. Um, but if we can't kill this Flint, that's going to be a great, a really big problem. Uh, the Great Seeking, if I remember myself correctly, was the other vessel. So target, um, target fastest ship on this. Target fastest ship. Fire when ready. Okay, 45 uh, shots fired. Uh, we managed to disable one of these ships. Okay, they're continuing to bombard us. We destroyed the enemy ship, looks like. And we're going to be able to destroy that Nitro. Uh, they are still firing on us. We destroyed and, or penetrating the Nitro. Weapons are still firing. They should not be able to unload in time. Enemy ship destroyed. Fantastic news for us. And uh, now we'll be able to finish up these ships. Yes, there we go. And those, that's how surface all weapons work. That's fantastic work right there for us. I'm going to dispatch a uh, salvager so that we don't attract any unwanted attention. Uh, in that regard, we're going to need to grab a salvage ship. Um, I'm going to go over to my military lift. Uh, Space Command, Salvage Group 2. Uh, we need to provide you an escort. Uh, so let me see what I have. I should have a Blizzard class carrier here. Yes, I do. So we're going to detach the Samoon. I'm then going to create a squadron. We're going to call this the 19th uh, Superior Squadron 19. 19. Um, Invictus Defenders. And we will then... Give them 20 F4s uh, of Im immediately. Uh, so everything but four of them. There we go. Uh, I mean, I probably can just bring all. Yeah, bring them all. There we go. They've now, they're now ready to move out. Uh, make sure they'll be fully supplied. We're going to have them follow uh, commercial salvage group two. So follow those. Uh, so commercial salvage group two is ready to go. And you are going to uh, make sure active sensors are on as well. Active is on. First salvage group two, you're going to head to Talos. Um, and you're going to then go and salvage those wrecks once you reach there. But no, very good job for our forces on the planet. And I'm pretty sure we didn't have any issues with... Uh, yes, they didn't manage to land any troops. So we destroyed all those troops before they landed, which was a good, good job. We're going to probably need to reinforce uh, Talos, to be honest. Um, so if I have a naval mobility squadron available, uh, so naval mobility squadron two, you are currently heading back to Earth. Once you do, you have hundred thousand tons of capacity. We'll move over some more STO formations. Uh, Talos, another flint class has been detected in Talos. Uh, we will send them right back where they came if they intend to come our way. Yeah, enemy ship was destroyed, no problem at all. Um, that's just more wreckage though that will attract the enemy uh, because the raiders are attracted to wreckage. Let's head back over to Alpha now and see what's going on. Uh, we're currently... No one of squadron is moving around. We have... Uh, mechanized companies being trained up. No one squadron is heading back here. Carrier Strike Group is in orbit. And we are beginning unloading process onto the colony. Which is what we will accomplish and what we will do. No one of squadron 2 has arrived at Earth. We will then grab and make some more STO battalions because we have seen their clear effectiveness. Uh, so we will do show elements, and now we will bring all of these different elements together, and we'll do the exact same. So one, two, three, four, five, and uh, you know what? We can probably go up to. So this is thirteen thousand tons. We can do twenty-five thousand ton uh, formations, uh, which would be you know, fifty guns uh, in one. Uh, yeah, so that's 22,000, that's that. So we can move over 90 guns, and that will provide pretty much all the defense we need there. So we will rename this to Large PDF STO, and uh, I'll just, I'll rename these at some point, but for now I just want them for normal identification. Okay, so we'll move uh, Nilberg Squadron 2. We will load up uh, one of these 
one of these, and we will then bring them over. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop one on Zitomir. So unload you. Then I'm gonna drop the other over on Talos, unload you, and then head back to Sol and then refuel. How is scrapping coming? I want to continue this scrapping effort as much as we can here. The older vessels especially. Uh, Issei class vessels need to be scrapped. Luthien, we are scrapping these. We've got a bunch more ships on the way. We've got much more Yangtze's being refitted. Uh, mining company has been extended. We've got four estimated mines already built. 382 normal mines. Yeah, it probably is just more cost efficient to move over infrastructure to be honest. We have enough colonists on Earth that we kind of need to make use of it. So I'm just going to build like 5,000 infrastructure at 70%. Um, which shouldn't take too much time. Okay, we complete orders. The Naval Build Squadron is now on Kareem. Uh, everything seems ready. Tank Battalion should be on frontline attack. Everything else should be ready to go. Morale is high. We are, we are feeling confident. Um, and uh, let's begin the engagement process here. Uh... There we go. Engagement has begun. Uh, we suffered, we're suffering some serious casualties on this offense. Um, okay, hostile increments here. So we suffered, we are inflicting casualties, but we are suffering quite a few losses. Primarily infantrymen, though, not tanks. Um, those tanks should hopefully be ripping apart. We can actually see that. Heavy mechanized companies are the main things doing damage here, uh, which is good to see. Um, Though infantry battalions are, of course, pulling their own weight in. Uh, we've got a lot of enemy forces to break through to. Uh, losses are reducing. However, their losses are also reducing. Um, yeah, losses across the board for a lot of formations are now reduced. This is going to get a lot of civilians killed. We're going to see the collateral damage really pile up here. Let's go up to the top. We can kind of see that. Uh, ground attack summaries. Yeah, there's going to be collateral damage. If I, I can't see that, but we are losing a lot of stuff in this invasion. We'll have to see if we can actually accomplish it. We did just finish up some refits. Um, let us go over and start construction on three new vessels. Uh, so I'll put those into the destroyer reserve. The JNS Suffolk, the Burgundy, and the Flanders. We'll get those underway. And we have now managed to destroy... Okay, losses are now reducing. We're nearly at a place where we're not taking that many casualties. The 5th Infantry Battalion just got absolutely wiped out nearly. Well, no, it lost probably one-fifth of its strength. Um, Luthien MBTs, though, are holding their ground hard in, 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 their, in their efforts. We lost only 12 Luthien MBTs. Okay, we're now trading with armor. They're focusing against our armored forces. Um, we lost 61 Infantrymen. Okay, now it's becoming a real slog. Uh, we have only 80,000 tons of ground forces left. Uh, we have mainly Luthien MBTs. We have 5,000 infantrymen left. We don't have a lot um, available to us. Major General Tucci Miko is in command of the force. Um, it's going to be her job or his job to keep up the fighting. We are now trading better as our Luthien MBTs are we're starting to dig in, I do believe. Yeah, digging in as well as just uh, overall... Uh, forces, we still have 300 Luthien MBTs. We should hopefully carry the day for us here. Um, infantrymen lost. We lost some logistics vehicles. That might mean they're starting to break through, which would be a real problem. No, it looks like we are managing it. We are continuing the fight. We've only lost six Luthien MBTs that have been killed and at least 56 enemy infantry. Continuing to trade along here. We're waiting for the numbers to decrease. Mechanized breakthroughs now occurring. That's big. More breakthroughs we get, the better. Uh, I'm just going to turn the display off because it's kind of hard to see anything that's going on. All right, let's uh, just bring this down here and then let's do AR increments. Two more Luthien MBTs destroyed. Five more destroyed, but we are we are still trading heavily against those enemy forces. Um, it's going to take a long, long while. Uh, this has lasted more than a week at this point in terms of combat. Uh, we lost nothing. No, we look, we took no casualties, and we are now dealing casualties, which looks like they ran out of AT, or they're running out of supply, it looks like, to me. Um, that's what I would imagine. They're starting to run out of supply, and we're starting to inflict serious casualties, though we have taken serious casualties of our own in this engagement. Um, that is for sure. And uh, what's going on? Let me have a look at events. Uh, 62 m stream lost. Award medals were, have been awarded. And uh, let's continue on. I think, yeah, 13,000. We're, we're, we're going to be wiping them out here. Massive breakthroughs occurring. We have lost very few infantrymen. And we're now wrapping up the engagement. 
And that should be liberation. Kareem has been liberated. Let's have a look at the colony. Um, Kareem doesn't have a population left. Uh, let's say the population was wiped out by the alien invaders or by someone else. Four main facilities remain and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, colony cost is a lot lower over here compared to here. So what I'm going to do is we can begin moving over the infrastructure back to Kareem and using Kareem as the primary outpost. What do we have left, left in the first tank division? First tank division has lost 150,000 tons of forces. Many logistics forces still remain. We only have about 11,000 tons of actual ground forces available. I'm not sure why it shows Nerox 155mm cannons um, available. But no, we lost a lot of forces, a lot of vehicles indeed. Um, and so we're going to need to, to really send these guys back home and send a relief force to garrison the world. So I'm going to put together an infantry division if I can. Uh, we're currently waiting for a regiment. Uh, regimental headquarters on the way. I'm going to begin training. Go do we have combat engineer battalions available? We do not have combat engineer battalions available. We will begin training those up um, as we need them. Once we have another regimental headquarters, I'm going to get a division ready to go. I'm going to send them over. Um, yeah, send them over to the colony uh, to garrison it. And that should provide protection, any protection that we need. What I'm going to do with our freight groups is I'm going to order you to go to Alpha. Go to uh, Alpha 3. And I'm going to also order the colony group as well to go to Alpha and go to Alpha 3. Uh, we're going to get Escort Squadron 3, which is just sitting here, to go to Alpha and sit above Alpha Moon 3 here and provide support. Because... Alpha, the, this moon is, is just a staging point. It costs us way too much to maintain forces here. Uh, so I'm going to move over the supplies that we have available. And we're going to ship them over to Kareem back to where they belong. But no, we've liberated Kareem, which now means the only colony which is not liberated will be the one on Nerox. Um, and then we'll be back to where we were before the conflict began. So this is a major victory for us. Uh, a, sign a significant one. Um, and we're going to keep up the tempo if possible here uh pleasure squadron 2 we're currently awaiting you to be brought over if i remember myself oh there you go pleasure squadron 2 is already there cash out group 1 uh begin your refueling from stationary tankers and resupply head back to seoul move to location um and uh you should be able to get yourself all sorted out there there we go let's get pleasure squadron 2 now out of here uh, we don't want you just sitting around. You are very expensive, and losing ships like that is a good way to lose the war. Uh, I'm going to need you in Alpha, actually. We'll keep you around in Alpha. We'll move to this moon. Um, let's go back into Alpha, and let's have a look at the situation. Yeah, because Alpha right now is on its, one of its extreme... Uh, like, ex extremes, uh, as we speak. Uh, miscellaneous, yeah, that's good. Um, we got those commercial freight groups now coming in. Escort Squadron is coming up. Uh, Escort Squadron 3 has reached the AO. Carriage Strike Group is coming back. Reflection Squadron is coming through. Commercial Freight Group 1 has arrived. Uh, commercial Freight Group 1, let's have a look at you. Uh, I want you to begin shipping over load installations, load infrastructure, Move them over to Kareem. Now, we need only one colony, only one Kareem colony. This is the colony that we want, though we need to make sure we don't delete that and lose all those ground forces. So, I'm going to move over the first tank division to here. There we go. That should now mean that, yeah, the ground forces are in the right location. We're going to delete this population. There we go. And uh, now we have everything remaining. First tank division. Size, 150,000 tons. Really? Okay. Uh, I... Again, I don't know where it's getting his Nerox 155mm guns because we don't have them available on these. Um, that must be some weird bug going on. Okay, commercial freight group 1. You load the infrastructure, take the load to cream, unload the infrastructure, and then refuel from colony. Um, does this, did they use the same infrastructure? Uh, Invictus Alpha 3. You use current infrastructure needed. You use normal infrastructure. Cream uses low grab infrastructure. That's not going to work then, is it? Um, I'm pretty sure anyway. Kareem, let me have a look. Kareem, no, yeah, Kareem uses low gravity infrastructure. But it uses a much lower cost on that infrastructure. So we will hold you there. 
we need to build low gravity infrastructure to build Kareem back up, realistically speaking. How much can Kareem currently hold in terms of colonists? Uh, it can hold max support population 0 0.28. So I will tell our colony group to begin loading up uh, low colonists, unload colonists, and then head to this moon. But I'm going to need low gravity infrastructure, really, uh, to get stuff moved over. So I'm going to take out 20% of this, and we're going to begin gilding. I don't know, 200 low gravity infrastructure should be enough for about a million people on the colony. So let's get that built. Okay. Kaiser Group is also on the way. We also have some wrecks here, which we can uh, make use of. Uh, let me have a look at that uh, salvage group. So salvage group 1. Head to Alpha, head to Rex, and begin salvage of these Rex, please. And then head back to Sol, and move to location. Salvage Group 2, you're currently orbiting. I'm not sure why, you should be going to Talos. Uh, head to Talos as quickly as you can. Yeah, because we want to get those Rex, really. Uh, one day increments. Uh, F3Bs built. We're using F4s now. We trained a regimental HQ. We should have another regimental HQ done shortly. That'll be done on May. So that'll be done in two months' time. Uh, Kaishogu 1 has returned to Earth. Uh, we're continuing the scrapping process here. Commercial Colony Group 1 has completed orders. Cream now has colonists on it. Um, I should now be manning the basic maintenance facilities available to the colony. Uh, we also have a lot of fuel available. Uh, however, we have no refueling capacity, so we're going to need to rebuild um, basic refueling capabilities. So I'm going to reduce this, and I'm going to then order uh, refueling to be used. Refueling station, I want one refueling station on the way. Immediately, that'll take two years, apparently. Those are not cheap to replace. And then I need to get... Uh, commercial freight groups to begin moving over infrastructure from Earth and taking that over to Europa and then refueling and then cycle those move orders. Then we also have low gravity infrastructure, which I'm going to load with Earth, uh, go to Alpha, and then unload on Kareem, unload on Slations, head back to Sol, refuel, cycle those orders. Uh, research into ordnance production rate has increased, which is fantastic news. With the remainder, we're going to just put those into getting us that research rate increase, but the ordnance production rate is very welcome. That will rapidly produce the amount of missiles that we'll be able to build. However, that is going to take a negative effect on our galasite production. Um, but our economic situation is improving, which is good to see. The Akagi was scrapped, which is good news. Uh, we're then going to begin scrapping of the next vessel. So we'll go for Akagi. Uh, we will go for, I believe it's the Natal that's in tri dock right now in reserve. Uh, let me go and have a look at the current uh, galaxy, yeah, the, the components. That's what I want. Components. So we currently have these weapons available, but nothing really that we'll be able to make use of. Um, so I'm just going to scrap uh, these components because they're not. I mean, maybe we'll maybe I'll make the 100 millimeter. We'll keep the 100 millimeter around. But these other components, we just scrap them because that last generation. They're not of uh, any significant importance. Uh, but no, we are we are continuing to scrap those vessels, which is really really good to see. Um, oh, we are salvaging. What's that salvage? That is salvaging alpha. Uh, we got some points. We got some auxiliary controls. Some different fusion reactors, uh, which is good to see. And uh, that means that salvage group, if we go over to salvage group 1, uh, once they've done it, Earth, they can just unload all the ship components, unload all minerals that they get. Um, but yeah, very, very good. Uh, 15 points from that downloaded. That's fine by me. And continue to increment a long care. What is commercial salvage group 1 doing? Standing orders. Fuel less further. Refuel. You don't have enough range to reach that. 80 billion kilometers, billion kilometers. Go to Talos. That's 15 billion kilometers. It shouldn't take... Oh, you, you, you're you just uh, not able to unload. I see. Unload all installations, unload all minerals, unload all ship components, unload everything you have. There we go. That should do it. Good. Okay, let's have a look at the components. We will then just scrap, or we'll, we'll disassemble, 
disassemble and then disassemble and then we will scrap this component and I will keep those around for now. And uh, then, yeah, Regiment Headquarters train on Earth, which is good news. We can then begin to move stuff around. So we're going to do show elements. Uh, we, not show elements, we're going to begin to move these infantry battalions under. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, so that gives us two full regiments ready to go, 50,000 tons each. Uh, we don't really have a lot of uh, forces available. We need more infantry. We just need a lot more infantry. That is the main thing that's costing us forces, is just building up more infantry, infantry battalions. Um, so I'm going to continue to st keep building those up as much as I can. Um, however, that's going to take some time, of course. Uh, incrementing along. And yeah, jellyfish was scrapped to the earth, which is good news. And then we're just going to keep the scrapping process up as much as we can, because that is going to relieve the amount of supplies that we need to produce. And it's going to relieve pressure. Um, we can get rid of the Soyuz at this point, looking like. Uh, Somewhere in the Earth, we are now, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing a little bit better. Uh, fuel situation is looking a lot better than it was. Garcite is, sta is staying stable for now, uh, though it's probably going to continue to go down. Um, over here, we have infrastructure at the Earth. I'm going to say that civilians, uh, we will supply uh, 2,000 infrastructure, and we will move that over to Europa. We will demand uh, infrastructure. I demand. 2000 infrastructure. I want to honestly, I want to terraform Europa. Um, it because this much infrastructure is just not useful. And if we can terraform it, we can free up all that infrastructure to go somewhere else. Uh, but we need the terraforming module realistically before we can do that, and that's going to be at least until the end of the decade. Uh, the octopus, what's going on with that? Talos, the octopus, the starfish, the Janus, octopus, starfish. What is happening in Talos? That was our supply vessels, if I remember myself correctly. Erebus Squadron 2. Oh, you. Oh, I see. Um, we need a replenishment squadron to be brought over for that. Uh, the JNS Hungary can do it, but it's going to need to... We can just send a tanker. I'll send a tanker and I will provide it with an escort. Um, M squadron 2, you're here. Uh, Transport squadron 2... I need an escort of some kind. JNS Kent. No, not available, not available, not available, not available, not available either. Uh, you're, we, the Quebec's close enough. We can send the Quebec. Um, now, I'll, just, I'll send the tanker on its own. I'll risk it for the biscuit. It should, by the time it gets there, it should be fine. Go to location, 57 days. We have a, a, a lag range point here, at least minimum. Uh, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Commercial Salvage Group 2 is now also here. Commercial Salvage Group 2, you can begin salvage operations within the system. Uh, so begin salvage nearest wreck. So go salvage those wrecks, please. Yeah, it's going to take some time to get to the lag range point, of course. Then we're discussion 2, what are you doing? Um, let me have a look at you. Standing orders, point exceeded, we feel we supply. Yeah, your point hasn't been exceeded yet. Did you unload already? Maybe you did. Let me have a look. Um, Talos, you did. That is just going to take you some time. So we're going to keep you in Talos. We're going to move you to the Narox jump point, and we're going to wait for those tankers to come over. Um, okay, complete research into Ion Drive. That should be enough for the Chateau. So we can begin retooling efforts for the new forget. On the way, that's good news. And then the rest of those, I'm going to go into getting us terraforming on the way. Our logistics scientist is very good. We can probably use that for something. Uh, salvage module, maybe not. Maintenance facility, per, uh, 2,000 tons per means we need less maintenance facilities, which is definitely something that would be very valuable at the moment, um, considering the economic situation of, of everything. Um... I'm also going to order that we can start moving in. We're going to demand 50 more mines. Not, those, are not, those are automated mines. Delete demand. Modify demand. Edit demand. 50 mines. And let's get those moved over. Edit, edit apply. 50 mines moved over as well. But we are now salvaging these vessels that are in orbit over here, which is good news. 
Uh, tankers reached z uh, was orbiting Arrakis. Tanker 008. Yeah, no. Go to Nerox. Go to Talos. And then go to Nerox Squadron. Actually, I need to realize I, I don't have like a proper supply network out here yet. Because of the raiders, which were causing us a lot of issues. Uh, but no, we are, we are salvaging, uh, which is good news. Uh, so we'll have to obviously wait until that salvage is done. Uh, the JNS Vortex has just completed construction, which is good news to hear. Uh, that is another vessel that will replace a Soyuz class ship. So we're going to then build the Tempest. Uh, so get that underway. Uh, we also have two Aberdeen Block 2s being built. In terms of our stockpile, we are now building a lot of Arashi MBs. Uh, uh, though our stockpile of Galasite is going down significantly. Uh, let me have a look at current carrier reserve. So in carrier reserve, we have a Luthien, we have an Akagi, and we have the uh, a Blizzard available. Uh, that Natal needs to be scrapped, which it is being currently. We need to scrap other vessels that we don't really, you know, I want to get rid of. I want to part ways with a lot of these different ships. Uh, so you're in the Alpha system right now. You are in here. You are here. Uh, Escort Squadron 3, you're orbiting. I'm going to send you back to Sol. I'm going to get you scrapped, I think. That's going to be what I'll do with you. Uh, we're continuing to recover uh, a bunch of stuff. We're scrap that's scrapping all the vessels. Uh, yeah, Scavage Group 2 is scrapping a lot of stuff right now. Let's go have a look at what they're grabbing a hold of. Uh, 850 Galasite uh, from those, which is fantastic news for us. We'll get that shipped back over. In terms of Arrakis, how many minerals are we actually getting from you? Uh, we should be getting quite a bit. Let me go have a look at our commercial mineral group. Uh, mineral group 1. You are load on minerals until full. Okay, load on minerals. You've been sat there for way too long. Go over here, unload all minerals on Earth, and then I'll give you some new orders. And cycle orders, Escort Squadron 3 is now with Earth. So what I'm going to do with Escort Squadron 3 is I'm going to then take its fighter squadron. So it currently has available to it all these F11 or F2s. And we are going to bring those into the fighter reserve. And then we have the Devonshire, which we will then begin scrapping. So if I go over to... Uh, can we scrap with these yards? Because uh, that would be very useful. No, we can't scrap with those yards. Um, do I have a yard available? I have this yard. You can probably do it. Uh, so are you the Devonshire. Get that scrapped, please, for me. And we're continuing to scrap those over. We complete production of uh, low-gravity infrastructure. We're going to continue our production of normal infrastructure in the near term. And the point of that is obviously to produce infrastructure needed for Europa. Uh, but no, we are we are scrapping these vessels, which is really, really good. It takes quite a bit of time to do the scrapping, though, unfortunately. There we go. So we have... We scrapped those vessels. Let me have a look now at Commercial Salvage Group. And commercial Salvage Group 2. Uh, you have on board now 1,700 tons of Galasite. You have a bunch of beam fire controls and other sensors and some, some other RP stuff. But we are going to get you home as soon as we can. Oh, you've got another wreck which you can salvage, which is uh, nice to see. Uh, go and do that then, if you've got another... Um... Oh, that's a Nerox. We need to be very careful about that. Is that a Nerox? What the hell... What the, what the hell is that uh, wreck that you're going to? Uh, Zizomir. Oh, yes. Go to Zizomir. Get that wreck. Once you're done with that salvage, go unload all your ship components, unload all your minerals onto Earth. I'm perfectly fine with them going to salvage those. All right, I think that's where we end the episode off. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, not so much action-packed, but we did liberate Kareem, which was a big deal. Our uh, Galaxy situation, we're up in the air about at the moment. We are starting to make efforts on getting our replacement ships, scrapping old ships, trying to get our navy into a better situation. We need to re-establish our logistics. That's the main thing, so that we can begin to explore outwards. We can begin to solidify our control. It's been proven that those STOs are super effective, and we need to be building tons of them. Get combat engineers, get a bunch of stuff available ready for them. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out. And uh, yeah, goodbye, guys.